This is News Trail, your daily dose. Welcome to News Trail this Wednesday, 22nd June 2022. I am Adetola Kayode. President Muhammadu Buhari has asked that both kinetic and non-kinetic approaches be used in the rescue of the remaining 51 kidnapped Abuja Kaduna railway passengers. The president reissued the directive with increased urgency in order to bring the case to a close. In a statement released by presidential spokesperson Garbo Shehu, President Buhari also welcomed the return of the recently released passengers back to their family and loved ones, expressing renewed commitment to the families of those still in captivity that they would be reunited with their families in the shortest time possible. Earlier, the kidnappers made a demand for the release of their own children and upon settlement, they let go of 11 of the victims. The Senate has raised an alert to the military over terrorist hideouts in communities within three local government areas of Kwara and Niger states. The upper chamber at the plenary urged the military to carry out a detailed onslaught of bandits and criminal elements within Kanji Lake National Park and the identified communities. Raising the motion, lawmaker representing Kwara North Senatorial District, Senator Sadiq Umar says people are living in perpetual fear of either being kidnapped and or killed by kidnapping suspected to be armed bandits, urging the military to rise to the occasion and tackle security challenges in the country. Meanwhile, Senate President Hamid Lawan read President Muhammad Buhari's letter during plenary, requesting the confirmation of seven nominees for ministerial posts. This is said is in line with the provisions of Section 147, Subsection 2 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. Malawi's Vice President Salas Chilima has been stripped of, of all his delegated powers. Malawian President Lazaro Chakwera made this move after Chilima was named in a $150 million corruption scandal involving government contracts. The Vice President has not yet responded to the allegations. The President says the Anti-Corruption Bureau ACB in a detailed report named 53 current and former officials as having received money from British Malawian businessman Zunit Sanchez between 2017 and 2021. The officials named in the report include the vice president and the head of police who has been sacked. But Malawi's law does not allow the president to sack or suspend his vice president as he is an elected official. So the best he could do is to withhold his delegated duties. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And always remember, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Have a fantastic day.